Hey guys, it's Astria here with a quick tutorial on how to unwrap hair in Blender. I didn't exactly go over this in the previous tutorial in my tutorial series because I tend to just leave it as a square from the cylinders because that personally just feels a lot better to me to use than to unwrap everything and then texture the hair. But if you want to have a more stylized sort of texture where you have like your own painted on shadows, you will definitely need to unwrap the hair. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. Instead of using the old model for the tutorial series, I am bringing my Hatsune Miku model. She already has textures, as you can see here. These are her textures. And if I go into the UV map, you can see it's just a square texture with square UVs, which for this model looks okay, but I'm just gonna show you how to unwrap it. So what I am going to do is I'm going to just reset the shading so then we just have our default uh, shading. I'm gonna hide the outfit and I'm gonna hide the body mesh because we don't need that. I'm gonna go into my hair mesh and I'm gonna hide her accessories and I'm going to begin. So let's hide the back hair and the pigtails because we're gonna work on the bangs. So you want to go into edit mode. Uh, I would recommend selecting the edge selection and then for hair because of the way that I model my hair the inside is typically more flat when it's like close to the head so that'll make it a lot easier for you to do unwrapping because then you'll know where the front and the back are so for unwrapping I'm going to select this edge here and then this edge here. I'm going to actually go into UV mode and reset the shading. I'm going to just hit X on that so I don't see it. And with those selected, I am going to hit Control E, mark scene, and then I'm going to unwrap it by selecting all with A or hitting L to just select that individual and hitting U and then unwrap. And you can see here the hair has now unwrapped into A front and back. So this is typically how I would do it. And that is really all that there is to unwrapping hair. Uh, because of the way that it is modeled uh, with curves, this is a lot easier to me. Um, so unwrapping is also just easier. I definitely want to have the hair strands slightly more separate rather than having there be this little uh, part here. So I'm going to select it with L hit G and then hit X to move on the X axis in the UV editor. And now I am just going to do that exact same process over on the rest of the bangs. I may speed this up, but it's basically the exact same thing. So select this edge here and I'm going to select this edge here and mark seam, select it with L and then unwrap. And then obviously I'm going to select the one that I did beforehand and then just select the newly made UVs and position them so that they fit nicely onto our UV space. I'm gonna repeat that again. So selecting that edge and then selecting this edge, mark seam, unwrap. I'm going to select the two previously unwrapped and then just select the new unwrapped strands and move them into position. You can make them uh, fit uh, however you want, as long as it is fitted to the UV space nicely. Especially if you were in a studio and you aren't the texture artist. This just makes it a lot easier on your texture artist. But if you are your own texture artist, that is fine. It also makes it very easy for you. So once again, same thing. And I'm just going to repeat this for the rest of the hair.
with that. That is all done. What I'm going to do is go to UV and... Pack Islands. And I'm going to just scale it down a bit. So that is the bangs. Um, I want to change it to individual origins so then I can scale them all down on their own origins and they can uniformly uh, shrink like so you can if you want manipulate the shapes that is completely up to you and what you can also do is if you want it to be very obvious what parts are the front and what parts are the back you can change your selection mode to be in the face and then select all of the front and because you have it as face selection it'll only select the front faces of the seams that you have created so these are all of my front strands i'm going to organize them at the top them down a bit so that I can have them all fit nicely. Like so. And then if you do control I in the edit mode screen you can inverse that and select only the back faces. So I'm going to organize these at the bottom so that I know that the bottom UVs are all the back. And then if I select all, I can see all of these have been made. I'm going to scale it on the Y and just a bit on the Z or the X, sorry. And scale it a bit on the X and then move it just to the side and just gonna do it here too so scale it a bit more on the y move them down a bit on the x but not too much so that it's going too close to our boundary we don't want that so that is our hair unwrapped it is very easy if you have copied my method of doing the of using curves to make hair because they are all their own object because they are all their own object so that just means that they are much easier to unwrap. I don't make hair connected, I don't bridge anything, I don't remove any faces and connect them together so that they are one mesh, but if you guys would like me to go over a tutorial on how to connect your hair pieces and unwrap that, please leave a comment down below. If this video helped, leave a like, subscribe, and my channel has now officially opened up memberships, so if you would like to support me monetarily, you can do so by becoming a member and getting different perks like your own little sub badge, getting your own member badge, being able to use custom emotes for the channel, which I will be adding more and updating my current ones. Getting member shoutouts featured members on my channel, exclusive posts to my community tab for members, and early access to videos before anyone else. If that all sounds good to you, consider becoming a member. Just hit the join button down below and you'll be a member. Thank you all for watching. 
and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye guys!